Krishna everyone. Welcome to Scorn Bikanese official YouTube channel. So today we will be discussing about what is the highest happiness in this world. So every one of us is searching after happiness, but we do not know what real happiness is. Happiness is generally perceived through our senses. For example, a stone. A stone has no consciousness and hence it cannot perceive happiness and distress. Developed consciousness can perceive happiness and distress more intensely than undeveloped consciousness. The happiness that we are experiencing in this material world is not real happiness. For example, if someone asks a tree, are you happy? The tree might say, yes, I'm happy standing here all year. I'm enjoying the windfall and snowfall very much. But for human beings, this is the very low standard of enjoyment. So what is the highest happiness? Sri Krishna says, in that joyous state of Samadhi, one is situated in boundless transcendental happiness and enjoys himself through transcendental senses. Established thus, one never departs from the truth. So, one has to be intelligent if he wants to enjoy it. In India, there is a story of a man who did not know what sugarcane was and he was told that it is something very sweet to chew and it looked like a bamboo rod. So the foolish man began to chew all the bamboo rods. If he behaves in this manner, how can he ever experience the taste and sweetness of sugarcane? Similarly, we are all trying to get happiness and pleasure by chewing this material body. How can we ever get happiness like this? Therefore, there is no happiness and pleasure in this manner. But if somehow one is promoted to that stage of Krishna consciousness, what is the result? Krishna says, upon gaining this, there is no greater gain. Being situated in such a position, one is never shaken even in the midst of the greatest difficulty. As one begins to relish the taste of Krishna consciousness, he begins to see other so-called enjoyments and attainments as flat and useless. Krishna consciousness is so potent that a little taste can save one from the greatest danger. Krishna is within all of us and he is waiting for us to turn to him. But we are too busy passionately eating the fruits of the tree of material desires. So let us turn our consciousness towards Krishna and make him the supreme goal of our life. And that way we will attain the utmost happiness and fulfillment of our lives. Hari Bol. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you understood it. If you still have any queries, comment down below. If you liked this video and understood its purpose, please do share and like it. And for watching more such spiritual videos, subscribe to Iskon Bikane's official YouTube channel. Hare Krishna!